Hello, this is Curtis Barrett. I'm an English major at East Tennessee State University in Johnson City, Tennessee. Today I'm going to be reading a poem written by James Wright for my Literature in the Environment class. The poem is entitled Late November in a Field. James Wright was born December 13, 1927, and passed away on March 25, 1980, at the age of 52. His first collection of work, The Green Wall, was released in 1956. Another collection of poems simply titled Collected Poems won him the Pulitzer Prize in 1972. The poem I will be reading expresses a strong sense of loneliness and longing, which was common in Wright's poetry. This particular poem stood out to me because I have always been a fan of wintertime, and really just cold weather in general, and Wright gives a beautiful description of the season in a solemn and peaceful manner. However, by the poem's end, Wright expresses a longing for warmer and livelier times to return and replace the cold, which I also felt a relation to, although I enjoy the cold weather, I eventually desire warmer weather to begin making its return. Late November in a field. Today I am walking alone in a bare place, and winter is here. Two squirrels near a fence post are helping each other drag a branch. Toward a hiding place, it must be somewhere behind those ash trees. They are still alive. They ought to save acorns against the cold. Frail paws rifle the troughs between corn stalks when the moon is looking away. The earth is hard now. The soles of my shoes need repairs. I have nothing to ask a blessing for, except these words. I wish they were grass. That was Late November in a Field by James Wright, read by Curtis Barrett. Thank you for listening.